You know, they oftentimes say shit like. Usually referring to shedding light on the truth. And it is true. We should shed light. The truth should be exposed. Or, or revealed, I should say. Because it's the, the lies, the, the deceptions. Those are the things we usually want to expose. But see, the thing is, it's more to it than just shedding light. Because what happens when you shed light on something? What happens when you shed light on the truth? The truth oftentimes runs away. What happens when you shed light on a room full of roaches? The roaches scatter. If the truth scatters when you shed light, then what? If the roaches scatter when you shed light, then what? See, it's more to it than just shedding light. You got to walk through the darkness. You got to feel the presence of of the deception, of the lies, of the corrupt. Feel the spirit of the roaches. Because that's what the bullshit is. A roach. A con. A predator. Some people may say, well, how do you... How do you find the roaches? I mean, in order to shed light on the roaches, we got to know where they at. If they keep running away, then what? See, that's the thing, man. Spiritual minds, perceptive minds beyond the mundane can feel the roaches' presence. See, the thing is, highly spiritual people, people with spirits that align with energies beyond the black hole, they don't need anybody to shed light. They don't need anybody to shed light on the corrupt or the deceptive or, you know, the false, the phony. The cunning. The predatory. They don't need anybody to shed light on any of these things because they can see in the dark. Highly spiritual people can see in the dark. That's right. Highly spiritual people, they can see in the dark. They can see. They can look at you. They can look at a situation. They can feel their surroundings. They can feel their environment. They can feel the energy. They can see the energy. They can see the roaches. Even when the roaches try trying to run, they can see the roaches in the dark. Some people, they still need that light shed. Superficial minds. Lazy minds. Go along to get along minds. Hey, I'm cool as long as it's not me being fucked with minds. See, they, they need to actually see the roaches because if they're in... A room full of darkness. If they're walking through darkness. Walking down a path of darkness. They can't feel the spirits around them. Because spiritless people can't feel corrupt spirits. Oftentimes because they are a corrupt spirit. See, when you're blessed 
with a perspective, you know, with a, a, a perceptive mind. And an intense spirituality. You don't need to see the roaches in the darkness to know that the roaches are there. You don't need to see the roaches to get your hands on them to squash them. You don't need to see them. Because that's essentially what you need to do before you shed light on the bullshit. Before you shed light on the roaches. You got to kill the roaches before you shed light on the roaches. Because if you don't, what happens? They scatter. Every time you shed light on the bullshit, every time, every time you try to shed light, spread the truth, the truth runs away. It puts on a fake face. It smiles in your face. It pretends like it wasn't up to bullshit when the lights were off. But those not scared to walk down the path of darkness understand differently when you're blessed with the spirituality beyond the mundane you can feel those roaches you can feel the bullshit even when the lights are off and you know exactly where every piece of shit is down the path of darkness or in a room of darkness or in an overall <laughs> cesspool of darkness. You still know where those spirits are. Those fucked up spirits are. And you can squash those roaches. You can break their fucking legs. So they can't run nowhere. Turn that light on. Motherfuckers ain't going nowhere. And everybody will see the truth. <laughs>